You might have noticed driving around Albuquerque at night, some of the city's thousands of streetlights are now a different color. And that shift isn't on purpose. News 13's Jessica Badon is live in the Newsplex with more on what's causing the issue. Jessica? Seven years ago, Albuquerque shifted more than 20,000 city-owned streetlights to bright white LED lights that are supposed to last a long time. But neighbors are now noticing a lot of those lights have unexpectedly changed to purple. And you can definitely tell the difference in the amount of light that they generate. Neighbors living near Coors and Montano are just some of the people who've noticed. The once white LED streetlights by their homes have surprisingly changed to the color purple. Obviously dimmer and probably not as safe as the brighter ones. So the neighborhood appears darker. I think it's a little bit darker for people trying to find someone's home. Uh, just makes it a little more difficult when people are walking at nighttime too. This is an area known for coyotes, so you kind of want to be aware. <laughs> but it's not just one neighborhood. We noticed purple lights downtown on coal between 5th and 8th. Also in the North Valley at 10th and Candelaria. The city just swapped more than 22,000 sodium lights for LEDs back in 2017, saving about $1.5 million per year. So what's behind the change? The city says it's actually due to a manufacturer defect that affects a special coating on the lights. And that coating is worn off and at this time as we identify them, there's about a thousand lights throughout the city that we have identified that were installed before 2019 that have this manufacturer's defect. Dalkia is the company responsible for fixing the problem and the city says they have a warranty guaranteeing the company will replace defective lights at no additional cost. We are aware of this issue, we are taking measures to, to correct it, and at this time they do uh, light up the street. The city says Dalkia has been notified about the purple lights, and that company is now making an inventory of problem spots to start replacing soon. Back to you. All right, thank you, Jessica. The city also says they want people to call 311 to report purple street lights if they spot them.